Okay, folks, I have a really nice high mileage vehicle for you here. This is a 2005 Subaru Outback all wheel drive wagon. Start it up for you. It has 205,000. 857 miles and if you know anything about Subarus you know they go a really long way especially you know a 10 year old one this car has some nice equipment and I'll go over that with you I'm gonna start off with telling you the air conditioner is ice cold it's hot it's warm out as you can see 81 degrees um, and it's a black car so it gets pretty warm in here but this is cooling off really nicely uh, let's see it's got power windows let me do those for you there's your right rear, right passenger, right front passenger, I should say. Swing it on around. That's your left rear. And of course, the all important auto down driver and up. I guess it's not auto up. Uh, the car is actually in remarkably good condition. Um, you know, for what it is. It's got heated seats, they're cloth heated seats, interestingly enough. Uh, radio, let's see if that works. Yep, that works. Uh, I can't comment on the CD player because I don't have any. Uh, let's see, what else? Horn? No problem. There's your wipers. Of course, they work. Uh, as far as I know, pretty much everything in this car works pretty well, and it does run really well as, as also. Oh, here, let's do the mirrors. There's your right one. Yep, that works exactly as it should. Come over to this side. There's your right mirror. Works exactly as it should. Perfect. Okay. Let's take a look at the uh, outside of the vehicle. In and out, this is actually a pretty nice looking vehicle. As you can see, even with this mileage on it, the seat's only got that tiny little bit of wear there. Other than that, it's clean. It's not all stained up. It's not all beat up. You can see there's your uh, floor mat. There you go. Put that back in there for you. Come on outside and we'll check the tires now. Left front tire, I got a little handy dandy gizmo here. Feels like it's got a lot of tread on it. Yeah, it's 930 seconds. So new tires have between 9 and 1230 seconds on them when they're brand new. So it's got a lot of meat on it. Alright, let's do the rear tire. And that one's at about 8.30 seconds. So again, really nice tread. Let's try this side. Yeah, and that one's about 7, 8.30 seconds as well. Again, really nice uh, amount of tread left. And let's see the right front. That one is showing almost 9.30 seconds. So yeah, you got really good tires on this baby. You're not going to have to worry about them for a while. It's got, as you can see, the nice Subaru factory alloy wheels. Right front fender looks like it had a little scrape there, a little touch-up paint. Right front door looks pretty nice and clean. Rear door looks like it's got a couple minor dings, but not bad. And a, a rear quarter panel is in pretty good shape. Here's your roof. As you can see, it's got the uh, roof rack with the crossbars, which is really nice to have. All right, you can look at the passenger side. You can see how nice that is. There's your passenger seat. Beautiful condition. This whole car was really kept well in really terrific shape. Here's your door jam. The door panel. And of course, the all important door itself. And as you can see down the bottom, where there's, if there's going to be a rust issue, this is where it's going to start looks pretty darn clean. This back seat looks terrific. It does have, no, actually I think it's, it's supposed to be like that. Back seat's in fantastic shape. Very clean. Floor mats in the rear, of course, as well. The door jam. Let's check this door out. You can see, beautiful. Very, very nice. All right, moving around to the back of the car. Which is neat, it's got the uh, winter Subaru mat, which is really nice. It's 
got the little compartment underneath here, which is nice as well. I don't know what's underneath here. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks like that spare tire and jack and everything. Uh, maybe it's been used. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But whoever put it away, they put it away right. So all the parts are here. They even got the cargo cover for if you want to hide your stuff that's in the back of the wagon. And those seats do fold down. So you literally would have all this space from the back all the way to the back of the front seats. Now you can see. Very nice. And again, no corrosion, no damage, no rust. Even the bumper's got, you know, it's got a couple little marks in it, but nothing really to indicate that it was ever driven poorly or abused. All right, there you have it. Let's close this up. Subaru Outback. All right, left rear quarter panel looks to be in nice shape. Left rear door looks to be in nice shape. It's got the symmetrical all-wheel drive, whatever that means. Oh, it looks even got this like little spoiler thingy. Here's your roof on this side. Again, four out of four so far on the doors in nice shape. And let's see, left front fender looks to be pretty nice as well. Coming around to the front of the vehicle, headlights look to be nice and clear. Might have hit a curb or two down on the front bumper here. The factory fog lights are all there and intact. And of course, here's your engine. This is, of course, the typical Subaru Boxer engine. And there you have it. Okay, now what we're going to do, obviously, is we're going to take it for a ride. Because honestly, if the vehicle looks great interior is beautiful like this one is but if it doesn't run very good it's not worth anything so i'm going to show you how nice this vehicle runs okay folks we're going to take it for a ride one thing i always like to do is start the vehicles again for you because you saw it start before when it was cold now you're going to get to see it start again after it's had a chance to warm up okay as you can see there it is it's nice and warm um, also, if you'll take notice, I probably didn't mention this before, there are none of those annoying check engine or warning lights on. Oh yeah, this thing also has the sport mode, see that, where you can switch gears kind of semi-automatically if you want. Why you would ever want to do that, I don't know, but the option's there if you feel the need. Alright, here we go. Take it for a go. Certainly not a rocket ship with that 2.5 liter four cylinder. I do hear some tire noise uh, on the smooth pavement, so I don't know what that means. Let's see if it goes away. No, I don't know. Maybe it could be a, eh, I don't know what it could be. But anyway, as you can see, we got the four, 50 miles an hour, no problem. It goes down the road nice and straight, no issues. All right, we're gonna turn around here. I don't like the brakes. I think it may need some brake pads. I mean, it stops the car quickly and nicely, but they just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to me. Maybe I'm just not used to them, but I try to describe everything I feel so you guys don't have any surprises when you get here. It seems to run pretty smooth, seems pretty tight, especially considering the mileage and whatnot. And again, I'm on a pretty, so they just repaved this road, so it's pretty smooth. Well, I'm going to do a brake test for you guys, and basically all that's going to consist of 
is pulling into this vacant lot across the street from my place, letting go of the steering wheel and slamming on the brakes. And I'll try to describe to you how the brakes feel. Um, keep your eyes on the steering wheel. That's about the only visual cue you would have as to if anything is wrong with the brakes. See if it jerks wildly to the right or to the left. Uh, but other than that, like I said, I'm just going to try to describe it to you. I'll pull the camera back. I'll pull in here. And... Oh, okay. Well, that's good news. I like that. If you notice the steering wheel did a little jiggle, that's good news. That means that the anti-lock brakes were working. Um, that was, and you, maybe, I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not, but you might have been able to hear the uh, anti-lock brake pump go activating as well. All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to test the all-wheel drive. Now, here we are. I'm sitting on a gravel driveway at about a, I'm going to guess this is about a 20 to 25 degree incline. So, it's, it's pretty steep. I mean, not horribly, but if this were just a front-wheel drive vehicle or just a rear-wheel drive vehicle and I um, slammed on the gas, all you would hear would be stones spitting out, which you're going to hear some of them probably, but you also wouldn't go anywhere. So, here we go. I rolled the window down so you guys can hear. Here we go. Yeah, you can see hardly any stone spit out at all, and it just grabbed and went. So the four-wheel drive, or I'm sorry, the all-wheel drive works exactly as it's supposed to. So let me do a little uh, recap for you guys. This is a 2005 Subaru Outback Wagon. It's got 205,858 miles on it. And, you know, it is high mileage, but I gotta tell you, the thing does seem to run good and drive good, so... I think this would be a pretty nice car for somebody. All right, we'll take one more walk around the outside of it so you can see it, you know, in bright sunlight so you can see. The only thing I noticed, actually, I meant to point, well, maybe I'll point out now, but is on the front of the hood, there is some um, uh, cross hatching, it's called, in the paint. Other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. Oh, I know I didn't point it out before because the hood was open. But you can see overall, it's actually a really attractive looking car. Yeah, it's either cross hatching, you can call it crow's feet, but it's weird. It's like, a oh, you know what I bet? I bet you this car had a bra on it because that's in the exact shape of what a bra would look like, and that's why I never like those things. Sure, it could save your paint, but look what it did to this car. Interesting. Well, there you have it, folks. So if anybody's in need of a nice family all-wheel drive wagon, this is a nice one, and it's going to be very inexpensive. Thanks.